Hi guys, how are you today? Arena is here. So I'm here. Um, for those people who don't know me, I am a Facebook group visibility coach and I help you to grow your list or get booked with Facebook groups. So if you actually don't have the list or have small list or you don't really have clients and want to find, uh, find clients in uh, Facebook groups because you don't have money on Facebook advertising, I'm a good girl for you. So make sure you join my Facebook Facebook group Savvy Action Taker Entrepreneur if you want to learn more tips from me and make sure you like my Facebook business page this page so uh, you will hear more tips from me but right now I actually want to talk to you about the free tips that you have to use if you have your own Facebook group so if you have your own Facebook group welcome everyone if you have your own Facebook group and um, you want to position your group on top than everyone else so basically you want to stay um uh position your group to be out of the crowd basically in this case this video is good for you so tip number one you need to create the connections with your followers connections with those people who are in your facebook group very 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 important the problem is we hear a lot about create connections with your followers create connections with your members but if you don't really know how to create connections with your followers basically specific strategy how to do that make sure you join my face or oh, make sure you join my challenge how to set your facebook group to grow your list from zero to thousand and during the challenge in it's a five day challenge so in the challenge we will cover specific tips and strategy how to build these connections with your followers remember if you actually not the followers but the members of your group remember if you have the people in your facebook group it's not about the number it's about um people in the group if you have a, a facebook group for example if you have a facebook group with thousand people but those people in your facebook group that not your ideal clients they don't really care about what you're selling what you're pitching you don't really care about you in this case you're not gonna make money with your facebook group however if you have like only 100 people in your group but those people like your loyal followers they absolutely love what you're saying they absolutely love what you're doing they're your potential clients then you're gonna help them to grow their business improve their life but you're also gonna improve your banking account right so the uh, mistake number one that majority people make when they create facebook groups and i understand why but i don't want you to get trapped in this one make sure you are not focusing on the numbers of your you know how many people in your facebook group but focus on the people in your group get to know them understand what they like what they don't like uh create this personal personal connect hi beautiful how are you today so create that personal connections with the members in your facebook group that's very very important and like i said before if you have struggles to create these personal connections with the members of your uh, of your group make sure you join our challenge and i'm gonna cover like specific tips and strategy what to do and how to do so that's tip number one the tip number two is actually position yourself as an expert lots of time people join your facebook group and they have no clue who you are they honestly they may they would be able to buy from you in the future if they will see you as an expert if they will see you as an authority so you it's your job as a facebook admin to position yourself as authority i have two groups but i think i need to focus um okay uh question you have two groups that are different groups like i mean um different like business different people out there what i mean um like different topics i would say like this um what i would say like this lots of time people want to sell sell different stuff to the members right um but the problem is when you build in your facebook group when you build in your business from scratch basically at that moment it's very very hard to position yourself as an authority if you kind of over the place so for example today i'm a copywriting person i help people with the copywriting 
to Bora I am visibility and I help you to grow your Facebook group. After tomorrow I am another like expert. What the problem is because if you're over the place with your actual core message, because that core message is very, very important. If with your core message, if you're over the place, then your followers will have hard time to understand what the heck you're doing. And it will take you longer to position yourself as an expert. So what I want you to do, you say you have two Facebook groups. So what I want you to do to figure out your core message. So basically, um, who you are, what you do, how you can help. So for example, I call myself a Facebook group visibility coach. However, if you work with me one on one, I'm going to teach you Facebook advertising because that if you, something that you want to learn. I'm going to teach you how to um, set email funnels and how to grow your like selling your stuff through the emails. I'm going to teach you about the Facebook. I'm going to teach you about the Pinterest. I'm going to teach you about everything. However, when I show up on the social media, I choose one specific topic, visibility. And from the visibility, I attract to people who actually want to, you know, start from visibility, grow their business. And in this case, when I work with one on one, I see where you what blocks you have because of base of my knowledge, I help you with those blocks. But the problem is, you know, don't do over the place things because then it will hard for them to remember what's your, uh, what's your expertise. So at the beginning, when you actually will have like big followers, like lots of people who follow you, then like it will be much, much easier, much, much different because people will remember your name. And based on the name, it's like, uh, for example, Maria Forleo or Amy Partafil. We say those names and people already know who they, those people are. Before that, when if I, for example, like 10 years ago, if I will say Maria Forleo or Amy Partafil, would the people will they just start? They will not know who those people, like 10, year, 10 years ago, for example. They will not know who those people are. And because they will not know if um, Amy Partafil will, for example, will teach this one and then next day she will teach this one and third day will teach that one. People will have hard time remember her. So I want you actually have your core message and then spread your word, spread your knowledge and position yourself in that specific, with that specific core message. And in this, in this case, and in this case, people will remember you and start seeing you as an expert. When you grow your like, when you grow your followers and everything like your business skyrocket after a while, then will people will remember you as a person like as your name? Because they actually like they constantly hear your name again and again and again and again. They will remember you by name. At that moment. A uh, specific like core message is not very very important because at that moment everybody freaking know who you are, right? But at the beginning when people don't know who you are, in that case choose one specific core message. When I say like core message, I mean like in my case visibility coach. I constantly say in visibility coach. If I share my content, I'm really good with creating content, repurpose my content, all of that. I can teach other people to do the same to save the time. However, I cannot say like, hey guys, I am content expert or content uh, content um, content strategy person, something like that. I cannot say that. Because if I yesterday introduced myself as a visibility coach and today introduced myself as a content expert, then people will get confused. And because they will get confused, they get lost. And guess what happened when they get lost? They will walk away. So what I want you to do, just stuck with this one message. And in my case, if I want to teach about content, at the beginning, I still introduce myself as a specific words. So introductions is very, very important. Like honestly, people will watch this video and only like 25% will watch this video like whole thing. But majority of people will watch this video only halfway because they get busy and everything the life is going on. So they will remember at the beginning how I was introduced myself. I was introducing myself who I am, what I do, how can I help? 
Hey, hey, my name is Arina Shevchenko. I'm Facebook group visibility coach. I help you and I cover the problems to grow your list, to get books with Facebook groups and actually build your authority with Facebook groups. Do I teach people about how to create the content? And we all know um, last month I was promoting content creation, uh, content creation uh, bundle. Yes, I do teach it. But it's not important. I want that people will remember me in one way. But then when, when um, my business is growing, they will remember me by name, not but what I am doing. Because at the time I'm, I'm become a star basically, right? So I want you to do the same. Um, if you have time, if you have two Facebook groups and you have time um, do the same things and you say you have the same people in your Facebook group, first of all, you have to kind of remember every, if you have a Facebook group, you have to have specific content for your Facebook group. You have to have specific activities for your members. If you have a Facebook group, like here's the same people and here's the same people. If you have the same service for those people, I would honestly combine it in one group because to run a Facebook group, it requires time. It requires your time. It requires your energy. Even like look at me sometimes. Sometimes I wonder in, should I do the video in my Facebook business page to actually spread them my word or should I actually go on my Facebook group and actually going to um, be active out there. If I do uh, group coaching and you were uh, in a part of it, uh, if I do group coaching, I spend lots of like 90% um, Right, but you're not gonna lose the people, just make sure you actually invite them to your Facebook group. And the second Facebook group, choose one Facebook group. And the second group, you move those people to your group. So you invite them, say, hey guys, this is the reason why I want to combine. For example, you not focusing on about yourself, you focus on them. So you say, hey, this is kind of benefits you're gonna get when I will be more, have much, much time to help you. Kind of this way, it's all about them. So you don't say like, hey, I have two Facebook groups and don't have time to run both of